everyone. I'm here with my friend Linda, and she was uh, in our emotional clearing workshop this past weekend. So we decided to hang together and uh, do the video this morning. The other members of our group have already uh, left and gone home. It was all guys. We were the only girls. Can you imagine? So <laughs> we wanted to talk about something that came up for us, and it connects. It, it, it does connect to 2012 to some degree, and it was the two main things that came out of our workshop this weekend, which was pretty in pretty in, in depth, pretty yes, intense, yes. especially for guys to go as deep as they did in dealing with their emotional blocks. Because everybody in the okay, there's Izzy. That's Izzy's back. This is Izzy's tail. Izzy, come here. <laughs> you little. Okay, so the the two things of the workshop were. Um, getting off the fence. They were having a hard time communicating with their guides. They weren't moving forward. Money wasn't flowing. Career wasn't flowing. They were just stuck. In fact, pretty much everybody was stuck in one way or another, including me. And uh, so what we found out was that they, uh, they were all sitting on the fence because they kept wanting to get information from their guides and their guides wouldn't give them like what their mission was, what their purpose was, things like this, or how to move forward. And the reason why is that they were sitting on the fence. We had to figure out, well, why were they sitting on the fence? So what we discovered was that each one of them had resentment of some sort or a fear that was causing them not to be willing to commit to what they came here to do <clears throat> by letting go of something or giving up the resentment. For example, one guy was... Um, after 22 years in a corporation working at, you know, for a real estate corporation, they basically put him in a position where he would quit. And he had pretty much given his life and soul to it. And he's since now written a book, but the book isn't really going anywhere right now. And the, the, we found out it's because he still had resentment towards his uh, former employer and he was not able to reclaim his power from that situation, so he was stuck because of that resentment. And as a result, money was going out, no money coming in. You got the story, right? Right. And then two other guys <laughs> had kept wanting to get information about why they're here, what is their purpose, but they weren't willing to commit to being on earth, commit to their work. So the guys are going, you know, we're just waiting on you. You can sit there and cuss at us all day, but we're not giving you anything until you commit. <laughs> So we, we, dis, we discovered that each one of us was sitting on the fence in a different way and we had to look at what was causing it and how to get off. So the reason we're sharing this with you, look at her, the reason we're sharing <laughs> this with you is that if you're really stuck right now and your guys aren't giving you information, money's flowing out but it's not coming in, um, there's something, there's there's something that's going on that it's either resentment, you're pissed off at something, you're feeling very angry about something, or um, you might want to look at uh, what fear is blocking you. Like one guy was really wanting to move forward with his life, but he was stuck because he was involved with a married woman for several years, and he's been waiting for her to finally divorce her husband, and she hasn't done it, and he's just really stuck. He can't really move forward with anything until he deals with that. So, obviously, you know what we said. <laughs> anyway, uh, and another thing that happened this time was that um, Devin actually channeled to this group. That was the first time since 1996, and the very first time he has ever allowed people to ask him questions, and he actually answered questions. So that was a first. This, I don't know what was going on with this group, but um, there's something about it, and I have a feeling it has to do with this next phase. Is there anything else you want to share? Um, no, I think you said it pretty succinctly. <laughs> <laughs> you want to tell them a little bit about what you're going to be doing when you get home? Oh, well, I had the um, pleasure of working through um, all the things adding to my emotional blocks. So I've been shut down emotionally for, for um, pretty much my entire lifetime, as much as I can, as far back as I can remember. And I've done a lot of work around that, and I've made some great progress. But um, I have a whole lot more work to do, and I'm looking forward to it because, you know, I want to be open emotionally, you know, fully open, because that's all about the the human experience here. 
and I feel as though I'm, I'm, I've kind of been robbing myself of, of the happiness and, and just the fun of being here. So um, I'm really looking forward to um, continuing my work and taking it to a whole different level. That's good. Yeah, yeah I think you will. By the way, uh, for those of you who've been on my mailing list but not getting the emails, we've kind of narrowed down the problem even more. We realized that Jalela at Neighborhood Council is an email address that got blacklisted um, by several different ISPs, even though we've had it for over 10 years. So we're working on clearing that up, and you might want to check with your ISP if you're not getting the messages and just type them, send them that, in, that email address and say, this is not spam and please make certain that it comes through. So we know that um, AOL was blocking it. We know AT&T was having problems and uh, Verizon is another one we learned about. So that's about it for this week. We will continue with the Nibiru information. One of the things we learned in this workshop was that there's a lot of questions about Nibiru and we really need to go ahead and do a whole series of little videos on Nibiru so people have an idea to make, have an opportunity to make an informed choice based on getting the Nibiruans' perspective, not just information that was written about them hundreds of thousands of years after events occurred. So, that's it for today. You guys have a great week. Izzy says, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to you next week. Bye.